Hello from Seoul. Today I'll share how to make Korean fried chicken in 15 minutes. I'm quite sure that there's no way to make it easier and faster than this recipe, so you should try sometime. There are so many different kinds of fried chicken, but today I'm going to make the classic one. Normal fried chicken and the one with spicy sauce. It's a very simple recipe, so there are a few things you need to prepare. First, you need chicken. To make fried chicken in 15 minutes, you will be needed boneless chicken. I'm gonna use only chicken thighs. It's much tender and flavorful. You may wanna ask, can I use chicken with bones? Of course you can, but it takes longer to cook it perfectly. You need to make cuts in the chicken and double fry them. So if you wanna make it easy and simple, just go for boneless chicken. Second, you need this frying powder which is made for fried chicken. You can get this from Korean groceries or Amazon. If you still can't get it, just use any type of fried chicken mix. Or you can make it with flour, but you need to add some baking powder and seasoning. So I recommend you to use this frying powder to make it easy. And some minced garlic, vinegar, and salt. What if I still don't have minced garlic and vinegar? Just forget about it. You still have some salt in your kitchen, right? Now let's get started. Cut the chicken about 600 grams into easy to eat sizes and put it in a bowl. Add 1 teaspoon of salt, some pepper and a half tablespoon of minced garlic to season. Put 1 teaspoon of vinegar to get rid of the smell of chicken. If you have fresh chicken, it's not necessary. Let's massage it gently. The chicken looks so relaxed right now. Let's microwave it for about 30 to 60 seconds. Just be careful not to cook the surface of the chicken. Without the microwave, you need to wait 30 to 40 minutes to season well. But with this procedure, you can save your time. If I didn't mention this hack, you wouldn't want to try this recipe because no one wants to spend more than an hour in the kitchen to have a fried chicken. To save time, let's pour some oil in advance. This time, I'm going to make the batter. As I already told you, using this frying powder is way much convenient. Otherwise, you need to season the flour with baking powder, starch, salt, and blah 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 blah. Once you buy this, you can make fried chicken many times, so follow my lead. Make it 1 to 1 ratio, powder 1 and water 1. I add 1 and a half cups of powder and water. The amount of batter totally depends on the amount of chicken you have. The batter looks ready now. If it's thicker than this, the crispy skin part will be thick. If it's more watery than this, the outside will be thin crispy. So it's all up to you depending on your taste. But if you're looking for typical Korean fried chicken, 1 to 1 ratio will be perfect. Let's dip the chicken into the batter. I like putting some Cajun seasoning into this batter, but I ran out of it today. So just keep that in mind. Bring a white container that you have. If it has a lid, it's much better. Spread a frying powder like this and put the chicken on top of it. Try to put them separately so they don't stick together. And then pour some powder on it and shake it. Shake it shake it. This is the secret of how you get crispy Korean fried chicken. We are almost there. All you need to do is deep fry it. The temperature of the oil should be higher than you think. This is because the temperature of the oil decreases the moment chicken goes in. Many people don't know when is the best time to put the chicken in. Let me tell you a very simple way. Let's put a piece of batter into the oil. If it floats after 3 seconds, you can start. If you deep fry more than 500 grams, just go for high heat from start to finish. After you put them in, please stir it so that it doesn't stick together. While frying the chicken, I wash the dishes and play with hoju. Uh oh, I forgot to make the sauce for the spicy chicken. Let's get back to work. To make sauce, add 1 tablespoon of Korean chili paste, 5 tablespoons of ketchup, 
2 tablespoons of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of pepper flake, 4 tablespoons of sugar, 1 tablespoon of minced garlic, and 4 tablespoons of starch syrup. From now, only you need to do is just boil it in a pan. If you make this sauce too early, it may harden, so make this sauce when the chicken is almost done. If you couldn't get boneless chicken and you're cooking the chicken with bones, you need to take it up once. When the chicken gets golden brown and double fried with the medium high heat. And make sure to check the chicken is perfectly cooked like this. I can see the nice golden brown Korean fried chicken here. Let's take them out. I think it took about 7 minutes to deep fry this, but everybody has different stove and cook different amount of chicken. So if the chicken looks golden brown, cut a piece of chicken and check if it's perfectly cooked. Sometimes you could mess up even if you follow the written recipe so you need to be flexible in every single situation so in this case please cut and check pour some chicken into the spicy sauce and stir it very simple right all right the chicken is done. Some of you are still thinking or hesitating to try this recipe even if you saw this super easy recipe. I'm pretty sure it's because you don't want to use lots of oil to deep fry. But actually, you can reuse this oil. Leave it for 3 hours to let all the dirty things go down and put it in. Then you can use it again for your next fried chicken. It seems quite difficult because you have to deep fry the chicken but I can say it's way much easier and simpler than 10 minutes tteokbokki recipe so why don't you give it a try? Your family or friends will love you. Alright this is it for today and I'll see you next time.